say good afternoon. This is one excellent rally. What My topic that I want to talk about today is the Crips and the Bloods. I'm, I'm sorry, Mayor. I want to talk about the Republicans and the Democrats in Washington, D.C. that act like, act like gang members when it comes to running this country. You have to denounce racism wherever it stands. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, you cannot condone the behavior from number 45. This is an American issue. This is not a black, white, brown, Haitian, Spanish. It is an American issue. And I'm going to be very brief because it's cold out here and leave you with this. The last time I checked, the only people in this country that aren't immigrants are Native Americans. So everyone else is an immigrant. Thank you and God bless. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yes. I am honored to be standing here with my good friend, Raz Baraka, the mayor of the great city of Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. And my good friend from the township of Irvington, Tony Voss. Yeah. And our good friend who's got a little cold, but he has his brother here, Dwayne Warren. Yeah. And also the mayor of Hillside. I mean, I'm grateful to be here. Give our round of applause. Yeah. And the honorable, Tom Gibbon, who's always out making sure that he's hanging out with us. The city of East Orange is made up of nearly 90% of people who hail from the continent of Africa, or one of the beautiful countries of the Caribbean. I'm here standing up for them, for my friends, my neighbors, my colleagues, and my family. I'm about the business of good governance. But this is personal and cannot be silent. This, this disrespect and discriminator of words and actions of the president should not and will not be tolerated. Shame on, on all those elected officials who have sat silent and done nothing but be uh, of uh, accomplice to such unacceptable and inappropriate behavior. And I'm ashamed of those leaders who whisper, like I said, whisper these shame, hurtful words behind our backs, but smile on our face. We see you, we hear you, and we know who you are. I'm not here to, to say enough is enough, but I'm here to say enough is enough. Today I pledge to work hard and hand with my fellow mayors my council, uh, council members and other legislators across the state of New Jersey to urge Congress to find a more human and common sense solution to immigration reform. To find a way to keep families together, to protect our residents from unfair profiling, retaliation, and to make sure that the American dream remains attainable for anyone who is willing to work for it. Hands cold. <laughs> Together we stand. We are going to stand up for East Orange, North, Irvington, and Orange. This one is about, this one will always be about, again, I am proud to be standing with all these elected officials, all of our young people from Rutgers, give them a round of applause. All our young, all our young kids from Central High School, the Blue Cabin. And all of you here, we are all in. Let's do this. Power to the people. We are the people that hold this country together. Together, immigrants, and whoever your title as an American, Italian American, African American, we are together as one people. But as one people, you need to understand that the federal government, the ICE agents that come for our neighbors, and the children that sit next to our students in classes, they do not have to explain to the very people who have elected these officials. They don't have to explain where the parents have been taken off to. They don't have to explain why they've deported you or why they have detained you. They just look at you, and because you speak an accent, they feel they have the right to take you. And that is not the America I was raised in. That 
That is not the America our ancestors died for. That is not the America our black soldiers of Cuban and Puerto Rican descent died for. So we need to remember our history and understand that our blood is the same. When Haiti went through problems, we went through problems. We were lynched, we were hung, we went through the struggle. So no matter what happens, continue to fight, make sure you vote, and remember that these are your neighbors, your constituents, your people. Thank you. Good afternoon. I give honor to God and I bear witness to his greatness. I'm Todd Warner, Director of the Orange Police Department, and I stand before you on behalf of the Honorable Mayor Dwayne Warren Esquire. Although he cannot be here today, he sends a strong message that he stands in solidarity with Mayors Baraka, Green, and Voss to proclaim with a loud voice that racism has been a plague upon humanity for thousands of years and will no longer be tolerated. Scripture says in Galatians 3 and 28, there's neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Scripture also says in the book of Matthew 25 and 40, and the king shall answer and say unto them, verily I say unto you, in so much as you have done unto the least of my brethren, you have done unto me. To those who subscribe to the tenets of racism and the mistreatment of the poor, According to scripture, you are doing it to the Christ you allegedly believe in. Yes. We can no longer stand for this type of behavior. Right. We can't say we love God who we never saw before. Right. And you treat our neighbors that we see on a daily basis with disrespect, bigotry, and hatred. It's time for us to come together as a human family and focus on our commonalities as opposed to our differences and work as a unified body to create a better society. America, we stand together as a human family, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, saying that there will be no more division. Division has been one of the plagues upon us as a human family, and today we say no more. Thank you and God bless you all. For, I just I just want to say first, thank, to, uh, thank you to all of the folks that came out here today and, uh, and enduring this frigid temperature out here uh, because this is very important. It's very, very important for us to be here. I'd like to thank Mayor Voss, uh, of course, of Irvington, Mayor Green of East Orange, Mayor Warren, uh, our, our good friend, the Mayor in Hillside. I want to thank uh, uh, Assemblyperson Thomas Giblin, everybody that's here today, uh, all the clergy that is out here with us all the time with us side by side to make sure that God is with us in whatever that we do. I'd like to thank all of these young people, the incredible young people that put this rally together. The Karen McKnight, all of the folks from the SGA, from the students at Rutgers, Central High School, all these young people came up here and spoke so eloquently. Actually, we could have ended the rally with them because they said everything that needed to be said. And listening to them, I know that this country, this city, and this state is in great hands. Uh, because not only were they eloquent, they were right. They were right and they were correct. You know, the, 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 at the bottom of, uh, of the, the Statue of Liberty, it says, give me your tired, your, your poor, your huddled masses. It doesn't tell you what language they can speak. It doesn't tell you what they should look like or what country they should come from. It just said, bring them here and we'll take care of them. That's what it said. It said, all, all of us, we are American. Yes. We are American, whether we are descendants of Tucson, Lovachore, and Dessaline, whether we are descendants of John Point B. Simon, who founded Chicago, we are American. Yes. We are American no matter if we came from Ghana or Nigeria or Togo, across the seas in the bottom of slave ships who died in the Atlantic with their human bones as a railroad that tracks from the continent of Africa all the way to the United States. We are Americans whether we shed our blood in cotton farms or sugar farms in the south of Virginia or North Carolina or Alabama. We are Americans whether we are descendants of those who were hung from trees and light poles, whether we had water holes sick on us or dogs sick on us. We are Americans whether we died in the Vietnam War, or the First World War, or the Second World War, or the Korean War, we are Americans. And there's nothing that Donald Trump can do about it. We are all Americans. All of us 
Americans. We owe it. Paul Rowlandson said, my grandfather was a slave and his father was a sharecropper. I am American and I will not let any racist-minded people drive me away from this country. We are American whether we came here 30 years ago or last night. We are American, all of us, because we decided to be American, because history has made us American, and because God has made us American in this country, in this day, in this time. And we will benefit from what America has to offer. We will benefit from what America has to offer, either, either by accident or by force. We will benefit from what America has to offer, and we will not let a racist president divide us, yes, the President of the United States is racist. I said it today, it is a fact. If you didn't know he was racist before he's elected, you know he's a racist today. I don't care what they say on the Sunday talk shows or what they say in the halls of Congress, our President, embarrassingly enough, is a racist. I stand with Senator Booker and what he said and what he did, we defend him not only because he's from Newark or from, or from New Jersey, but because he was right, he was correct. He should challenge everybody that speaks that way about our community, about our neighbors. And if you're careful, if you're not careful, we have to pull out scientists. If you're not careful, we have to pull out our historians. If you're not careful, we have to pull out all our geneticists. If you're not careful, we have to come to the White House and show you that everybody on the planet is actually from Africa. If you're not careful, if you're not careful, you'll find out that denouncing Africans is like denouncing your mother. That denouncing Africa is like denouncing God himself. It is wrong. It is a wrong thing to do. And as a matter of fact, the whole world knows it's wrong. And we're going to speak up as loud and as possibly as we can to let you know that here in Newark, in Irvington, in East Story, in Orange, in Hillside, in the entire Essex County, that we stand with our African brothers and sisters. We stand with our Haitian brothers and sisters. We stand with our Latino brothers and sisters. And we know that they're a part of our community. And if everybody has to go home, have to go home. My father said to me, huh, if everybody go back to where they came from, the airports will be crowded. Like Tony Voss said, none of us were, 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 were originated from this, this place. If you're not Native American, you don't belong here either. We are immigrants. We are immigrants. And I speak to you today as a representative of the only people that came here without looking for anything. We came here against our will. And if you and if you are mad that we're here, you should have never brought us here in the first place. But now that we are here, and now that we are a part of what's happening in this country, deserve to be treated like human beings, yeah. to be served like human beings, yeah. in this day, yeah. in this society, yeah. 